is going on guys, it's your boy Sussie here, bringing us a Photoshop tutorial, it's a cool little simplistic box pattern idea thingy, like, I don't know, oh, by the way, like, thank you guys so, so much to, like, show me, like, I can actually post what I want to post, you know, wh whatever it may be, like, even if it's, like, an original effect or this or whatever it was, that video made me so happy, it was incredible, so thank you guys, honestly, so much, honestly, like, I really do appreciate it, okay, like, seriously. But, um, yeah, I just wanted you guys to know, like, it's just, my tutorials may say tutorials, but it can also just be an idea of something that you need inspiration of. Like, uh, this channel's full of, like, my progression. It's pretty crazy. So if you can, like, if you can, like, pinpoint where you think you're at right now and then just, like, follow along my videos through then, you can just be, you can literally be me, literally, like, my skill-wise. Because my tutorials, like, it really, it really, I, it's, it's a progression. I really do appreciate it so much. And also, thank you guys so much for 42 thousand subscribers we hit 2k since what we had i don't even know when like one month ago we hit one like 40k oh my gosh these are crazy honestly it's amazing all right so anyway this is tour for today we're gonna get started right away the only thing you'll need though is the 40k brush pack uh speaking of 40k right so you're gonna only need the 40k brush pack or the stock brush pack if you guys want to get that as well the five dollar crazy brush pack that i will be updating uh either hopefully this monday before i go back to class uh I'll, that's another thing do you guys do you guys go back to class i go to back to class on Monday, so like whenever you watch this video, which I upload on Friday, so three days from now, I'm gonna be in school for a good amount of time. It's gonna, I can't wait. I really can't. I just love school. That's just me. I don't know. So, all right, let's get going. Let's go. go. All right, cool. So, so the first thing you gotta do, of course, is set up the simplistic white background. Uh, by the way, I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna call this video, but I'm going to use the uh, just a nice little header dimension for the example, which is basically 1500 by 500 pixels, and have it on 200 resolution. So if you guys wanna know what I'm talking about, I mean this. Um, this is what I mean. I just have it in a, a Twitter dimension just because I like this size like a really good size tutorial canvas Anyway, we're gonna make a new layer. We're gonna go to the primary uh, little foreground box here We're just gonna change this white to a nice little offset white So like I'm probably around here like d2 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 is pretty good, right? All backspace to quick fill in on that layer So now we have an offset white background We're just gonna set us off just to at least like have a white background That's not like completely just white But it looks really nice and such when you put like another like simple color correction on it So over this new layer, we're gonna make another simple uh, We're gonna actually change the foreground color from whatever it was before your offset white to a, a nice beautiful solid white So this what quadril F? I don't even know what that is. Is that five F's? Um, so yeah, press OK and then use a nice soft brush, which you can find also in the 40K brush pack. So this is what the 40K brush pack will look like. And you can either download the PSD or the PS or the PSD or the .abr file version. Um, so yeah, I do have a soft brush. So once you take this soft brush and just basically click around the sides just like so, you can just see what I'm trying to go for here. You have like, you know, the white on the top left, the offset white in the middle, and then just the other, like, it's kind of like battling each other. It looks really good. I like the look of this. So it pretty much just made like a little simple, like, uh, I guess tap left and uh, bottom right just like just new a nice little swoop so once you've done that we can make another new layer and we're gonna change this uh white to a gray this time so basically like midway i guess is pretty good on a new layer you're just gonna basically click either just once or twice just to try and give it some nice uh, i don't know if the word depth of field is right that is not the word i'm looking for but just to give it some more just so it's not so flat i don't want it to be flat so i'm also gonna take your eraser really quickly and fix this just a little bit there we go. So now we, I just put a little uh, gray brush over here on the top and then over here as well. It gives a nice little simple nice look to it. You can kind of hopefully see it. Besides this, this is what I had. If This is what I would have if I just did a white background. That's it. This is what I have now, which I think looks a lot better. And also when you change the, uh, we'll do in a second, but the brightness and contrast, you fix that up, it makes it look awesome. So pretty much to get a simple, simple design. I think it looks so, so nice though it's just so i don't know I, hopefully i can give you an idea what to do with this but also just want to show you how to do it so pretty much i'm just going to type in my word of choice i'm just going to put simplistic uh we're going to just use nexa bold why not make it seven size we'll make the color of it white for now and i don't want no separation please no separation oops simplistic um I said zero separation. All right, cool. Press a little check there. I also have these little rulers here, just for me. Uh, by the way, to only pull these things up, it's Control R to bring up the rulers. Not you're not gonna have my rulers, but what I did was when I my canvases, I always try to find the middle, which is very simple. You just take the ruler, 
and you pretty much just drag it over the canvas and you'll find out it snaps. If you go slow, where you can kind of like imagine where the middle is, it'll snap. So you can see this is where the middle of these two points are. So it's very simple to do. You can do the same thing with the, uh, the top one as well. You can just scroll down nice and slow where the middle would be, where you like where your mindset would think the middle is, and it should just snap right in there. So that's what I just did for this. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make, I'm just gonna actually group this together and call this the background. Cause we don't really need to mess with that anymore. I'm gonna make another new layer. I'm gonna drag this below the text layer. We're gonna go in, nice zoom in. I'm just holding Alt and Scroll Wheel to zoom in really quickly. And then pretty much, I'm gonna go to my rectangle marquee tool, which is a nice little rectangle tool, just to make our own little rectangles. And we're just gonna make the rectangle nice and just, just enough so it like fits the box, pretty like you know snug. And then pretty much, I'm just gonna Alt Backspace or no Control Backspace because I have a black as my. Uh, my background color right now is black. You can just use a solid black, whatever you want to do. That's okay. You can always change the color if you guys wish to. But pretty much, I'm just going to take the solid black now. I'm going to move this over just one little tab to the left. Boom. Now I have my uh, text in a box, which is pretty cool, right? It's simple. You know, it looks, it looks cool already. I mean, whatever. It's just a little idea. Um, so now I'm going to do is make another new layer. I'm going to take my rectangle marquee tool again, and pretty much I'm going to click and drag and just basically go over my other rectangle that I just did. You know, you would try to, I would say, please try to make it as perfect as possible, like use rulers the entire way, but for now, I'm just like eyeballing it and saying that this is perfectly perfect, but I know it's not, probably like off a couple pixels, but anyway, I'm going to right click now, when I did that little rectangle part, I'm going to stroke, and about a three size stroke is pretty good, just use the same colors you did for the other box that's over the text, or under the text, press OK twice, and now we have a simple stroke, a nice little three like size stroke around this box already. This is, it just looks really cool, I think, so far, right? And, like, by the way, this is, like, completely editable. You can do whatever the heck you want with the, the object, the shape, whatever you want to do. This is what I did for mine, like I said before. And I think it looks really cool, so I'm going to keep on going, though. So, pretty much, I'm just going to go ahead and just open my rulers again, because I like to have it, you know, at least somewhat of a, uh, you know, even. So, I'm going to basically take this. I'm going to take the rectangle marquee tool. I'm just going to click and drag where the end would be on the bottom. And just like so, I'm just gonna alt backspace to quick fill it in, and then pretty much I'm gonna just take this, hold alt and shift at the same time. It makes a duplicate, and also holding shift will allow it to only go left and right when I also move left and right, not up and down. You see me moving my mouse up and down; it's only going left and right. That's what I'm holding shift for. And I'm gonna go all the way to the other side, just like so. And then pretty much since I know this stroke is like one too much right now because I want it to be even, I'm just gonna take my rectangle market tool. I'm going to click and drag it over here, uh, nice and slow apparently, right, <laughs> boom, I'm going to move it up with my mouse tool, I'm just going to erase where that would be, because I want it to be perfect, I want it to look crazy, where is it, it's right here, there it is, alright, cool, now it's deleted, and now it's all flat right there, so pretty much now I'm going to take another new layer, right now, and I'm going to go ahead and use my pen tool, and pretty much I'm just giving that little cool little side box, where I just have this like little thing coming down here. <clears throat> so with the pen tool, I'm gonna go to one point over here, and I basically click and go to the other side. But I'm gonna actually go through, yeah, I'll go through here. That's pretty good, right there. It's fine. I'm just gonna go around. So I'm just gonna click down here, and then just boom, connect it. And now I'm just gonna right click, fill path, the drop down, use color, same color as you did for the background stuff. Press OK, and then pretty much now you have all these little segments. And also the box, though. We're going to change the box's opacity. This one right here. The first one we did, it's at about 10, which looks pretty cool. That's what I did for here as well. You can see the box is at like 10. You can just see the background or the the letter is just enough. And also with the text, we're going to do something in a second where you can get that cool little like look where like kind of like a, what is it, like see the negatives and differences and such. Um, so the, what this is right here is just basically leaving us with a cool little simplistic box is what I like to call it. It's just very simple. I think it looks pretty cool. So. With this, I'm going to group all this together. I'm going to call this box, though, because I know I'm going to use that in a second. We'll group all this together, even the text, and we're just going to call this, you know, the beginning box or whatever. Why not just call it B box, okay? And I'm going to make a duplicate of it, so Control J and then Control E. Before I actually do that, though, Control J to make a duplicate of the, uh, the, the group itself, but I'm going to delete the text already just so it's like only this right here and then I'm gonna control E that way it merges everything together besides the text so now all I have in this new layer is just the the box itself so pretty much I'm gonna go down to the, the little B box tab that we have here go back to the box and I want to erase where the text should be in this one right here so I'm just going to or at least erase where the box 
box like text would be so all I'm talking about is basically go to the box that's like hovering below your text right here which is this layer right here and press control on the thumbnail and then go to the box copy and then press delete that'll leave you with at least showing the text still so that's what I wanted that's all I really want you to do right there so pretty much now we can just go ahead and take your eraser which is pressing E in your keyboard right clicking and it brings up your the 40k brush pack that I asked you guys to download before. Like I said, you can use anything you want to do. You can use a stock as a, like an eraser or make your own eraser, whatever you want to do. But the whole point of this is just making a cool little simple eraser trick. And all I'm going to do is just take some of my favorite brushes. I'll just take this one for now. And I'm just going to click over here with an eraser. And I'm just going to go ahead... And pretty much, just, I'm gonna uncheck this for now. But I mean, you can just see what I did. I just erased once. I just clicked once, and they gave me these cool little, like, little, like, I guess, streaks of like, uh, of dis like color. Because what, the brush on this one right here that I'm using, which is like called, I have no clue what it's called, but it's like the last. W w it's this one right here. You can see the what it looks like if you guys were like, you know, compare. Uh, it's called line fade. I call it line fade because it's just a whole bunch of different tones of erased, like, you know, opacity lines. So that's what it, I just have here. Pretty cool. So pretty much I'm gonna take the eraser again, right click with it, I'm gonna use this one because I use the same one as before. This brush right here is this one that I'm using right here. And then pretty much I just erased, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller, control alt and left click and right click, or left click and then and move it left and right to make it bigger, not the diameter. And I'm gonna press uh, cap lock just so I can actually see the eraser. I'm just gonna erase a couple times just like so. Uh, just like that. I'm gonna click a couple times just so I know it's like through this. So now I know if I uh, over, if I of course I hover over this, it's gonna be black. But we're gonna change this color right here to a nice color, and we'll use we'll probably just use the same green because it looked pretty cool. That looks really nice, I guess. And now since I know I used an eraser to actually make the pattern of like the uh, these lines right here, I'm just gonna press Control J to duplicate it once. That way it's nice and vibrant, so you can't see. And maybe just lower the passage just a little bit because now it's too vibrant. But I just want to make sure. But I can still see the pattern. Also, the color is still there that I want. I like the one I want. So now I'm Control E that, and now this is basically our color box. <clears throat> and then pretty much now you're almost really almost done. All we all you gotta do right now is with the color box, you double click on it, and you go to the drop shadow, and you pretty much just take a simple drop shadow, which is like what five uh, zero five. It's pretty good. The whole point of this, though, is just to make it look like the green is like coming off of the black. Of course, if I erase more over here, like I did, like on this, I did it really nice and perfect. Um, I erased a couple more times than I did on this one right here. But you get that like really cool look where like the drop shadow is like bleeding off, like the green is cool, like it's bleeding off the black line. Looks pretty cool. And now, pretty much though, you can have you can see over here. I also have I kept the shadow over here. You could, if you really really want to. You can probably rasterize this layer. I wouldn't suggest it. It's just an idea if I had it. I can rasterize this layer and kind of like delete the, the, the shadow over here. And like I would probably like delete it perfectly and such. If you don't want the shadow to be in this area. I, I did it my first try. I didn't like it so much. But I just kept it on the uh, the second try that I have here the, for the example part right here. I kept it on that part. But if you guys wish to, I think that's a pretty cool idea. But, you know, of course, rasterizing a layer with uh, effects on it is very difficult. Because if you mess up you're gonna have to do it all over again or you can make a duplicate of the like you know a backup i guess of the color box here but anyway the whole point of this it looks pretty cool and i think if you were to go to your b box now right the, like the little first box that we did where the uh is grouped up with your text if you just change this from normal to difference it should give you that look that i have here as well which basically all the whites are shown on the blacks and the blacks are shown on the white which is pretty cool and so now to finish this off is a very simple cc or a color correction i guess so on the adjustments layer, which is right here, this little half circle thing on the bottom part, or if you go to image adjustments, you go to brightness and contrast. I'm just gonna do it over here. Brightness and contrast. I'm just gonna lower my brightness down to about, I don't know, let's say negative 55 for now. And I'm just gonna up my contrast a bit. I'll say what, 45 for now as well. And I'll say, I guess negative 35 is okay. Negative 35 brightness and about 45 contrast. Looks pretty cool. I just want to make it so that the the white con like the the white background that we did before with the gray in certain areas it pops out a lot more with the brightness and contrast and pretty much you're almost done but one little simple thing I always do I always tell you guys to do is make a new layer and use a nice soft brush change your foreground color to white this little box to white use a soft brush make it nice and big as a canvas it needs to be and then just click one good time on the top and make yourself a nice little leak light which looks very 
nice and clean. Now, of course, over here, I just I just did some random little line things. Uh, to, what I did there is basically just took this little color box here. I duplicated it. I got rid of the effect. I basically just double click on here, color overlay, made it black. And then pretty much I just try to put it where it was. Right, I'm going to rasterize this layer now. Filter, blur, motion blur. And then pretty much just mess around with the distance. I had to have it on zero uh, zero angle already, and my distance at 1750. I should have said 17. If I put 1738, oh my god, if that was so good, we would have had like a whole spiel and comment section. But all I'm gonna do now is just take the eraser and just see. Oops, that's the wrong thing. Take an eraser, not a brush. That's there we go. Take an eraser with a soft brush. I'm just gonna erase over here, and I'll erase this line here just a little bit. And then make this line fade out a little bit as well. And then, of course, to get this like cool little look I had here as well, I just did the same thing with just a bigger brush. So what I did was I just I put it under my B box right here. So I'm gonna put it like in between my background, like the B box thing I have here. On my brushes, I'm just gonna use a simple brush. I just use like oh, not this one, uh, just something that's like you know unique uh, that has like spacing in between it. No. Let's see, this one? Yeah, that'll work right now. Here, boom. Just w click once, just like that. Filter, blur, motion blur again. And then pretty much you can just see how it looks right there. If I just change this to black really quickly, you can see the motion blur gives it these looks just like so. It's kind of like little, I guess, like little lines just going across. It looks pretty cool. Just a nice little simple effect to do as well. And then pretty much that was it. So I hope you guys enjoy the video it was very simple i think i was hopefully that was clear and i gave you some kind of uh some kind of idea and by the way like if you guys like want to see anything else you know please tweet it at me or if you have any trouble questions i will try to answer them just tweet it at me at switch so don't forget to, uh don't forget to follow me there as always uh thank you guys so much for the support like i said it's very insane uh, hopefully we get like you know of course 200 likes on this video equals a secret down below so don't get, uh, forget to leave a like and also check out my self by self by.com slash SOHQ to find any pre-mades and packs is always five dollars and also you get these pre-made you know social media you know revamps for only eight dollars which you can fully edit in photoshop it's really cool please go check them out also the everything pack is course is thirty dollars one purchase of thirty dollars you get everything in my store and anything that comes out gets emailed to you for free so it's pretty cool so please Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So switch you out. Peace.